Sunstar America's North American headquarters and manufacturing facility located in Schaumburg, Illinois, is a state-of-the-art facility built to meet company goals for productivity, innovation, and safety. As employees of Sunstar, you should become familiar with safety protocols that are unique to this building so that you will know how to respond in case of an emergency. Management believes that when an emergency situation occurs on company premises, it must take the necessary action to safeguard its employees, protect the general public, and minimize potential damage to company property, the environment, and the effect on facility operations. When the fire alarm is heard, prepare to exit the building immediately. Do not run or attempt to retrieve personal items. You may hear an announcement. There is a fire emergency. Evacuate the facility. Walk directly to the nearest exit and go to the nearest assembly area. Do not use elevators. If you are trained to stop equipment, please do so. Operators of forklifts will park their vehicles so as to not block aisles, exits, or firefighting equipment. Employees in the office area should use the staircase only, not the elevators. For employees and visitors with disabilities, or if you become incapacitated and cannot walk down the stairs, stay in the area of refuge located on each floor. Let someone know that you're there, and the message will be relayed to the fire department's rescue team. Proceed out the exit doors to your designated evacuation assembly area and remain there so you can be accounted for. Attendance will be taken. Do not leave this area until directed by your manager or team leader. If you are not in your department when the alarm sounds, evacuate with personnel of that area and then report your presence to the area manager or team leader who will notify your manager. Do not leave your evacuation assembly area or go to your vehicle. Your manager or team leader will tell you when it's safe to leave the evacuation assembly area. Once an all-clear is given by the fire department, your area manager or team leader will notify you when it's safe to return to your workstation. You will then be debriefed about the cause of the alarm and how well your department responded. A tornado is a violent swirling storm of short duration with winds of up to 250 miles per hour and a low pressure area at its center. It appears as a rotating funnel-shaped cloud from gray to black in color extending toward the ground from the base of a thundercloud. Tornadoes often occur from a squall line of thunderstorms, particularly during the afternoon, and while they may appear in any season, they are more prevalent in spring and summer. There are two primary hazards from tornadoes. The whirling winds can create a vacuum or low pressure area. This can cause buildings and enclosures to explode. Violent winds may project objects through the air. Flying glass, steel, and outdoor debris are common hazards. Secondary hazards include flash flooding, power outages, transportation and communication disruptions, and fires. Shelter-in-place areas have been assigned for each major area of the facility. Please remember your shelter-in-place location. Fire alarms will not be used for shelter-in-place situations, so that employees don't evacuate outside where it is unsafe. Instead, you may hear this announcement. A severe weather warning has been issued. Seek shelter immediately. Walk to the nearest designated severe weather shelter. Do not use the elevators. When verbal notification is heard to shelter in place, immediately stop what you are doing and proceed to the shelter in place location in an orderly manner. Remember, do not run or attempt to retrieve personal items. And if you are trained to stop equipment, please do so now. Shut all windows and exterior doors, including all dock doors. When in shelter, remain there so you can be accounted for. Do not leave your shelter area or evacuate until your manager or team leader tells you it is safe to leave. Once an all-clear is given by your area manager or team leader, return directly to your workstation. Your manager or team leader should then debrief you on the shelter in place, including lessons learned.
If a life-threatening situation exists from outside, a lockdown of the facility will be implemented. Access card reading equipment and existing door hardware and security controls will provide protection to some extent from persons attempting to gain entrance into the building. When security is notified of an emergency, they will assess the situation and report findings to the emergency coordinator. The emergency coordinator will determine the need to lock down and notify managers and team leaders of the situation. In this event, there are two potential scenarios, a soft lockdown, which means do not evacuate, or hard lockdown, or code pink, which has the potential for evacuation. When a soft lockdown occurs, you will hear this message. An outside emergency has been declared by authorities. No one is permitted to leave or enter the facility, move away from all windows and doors, secure dock facilities and entrances, continue regular activities, but listen for further instructions. Please remember, during a soft lockdown, do not evacuate to outside, as you may be exposed to a greater threat. Shut and lock all windows and exterior doors, including all dock doors. Move away from entry-level doors and windows. Secure all doors. Do not exit safe areas until all clear is sounded. Never open doors during lockdown, even in the event of a fire alarm. Follow the instructions of your emergency coordinator, manager, and team leaders. They will inform you when the threat is over or instructions will be given over the public notification system. Your manager or team leader should debrief you immediately when the lockdown is lifted. When a hard lockdown, or code pink, has been declared, you will hear this message. A code pink has been declared. The facility is being locked down for safety. Stop all work activities and proceed immediately to the nearest safe area. Do not use elevators. Secure access to your safe area and remain quiet. Stay away from windows and doors. Do not exit safe areas until the all clear is sounded. Follow directions of emergency responders. A code pink is now in effect. When a code pink has been declared, meaning the threat is inside the building or near your work area, do the following. If you are in a room or office area with the access door, lock the door, turn off the light, Look for a safe area to hide and stay quiet. If you are on the production floor, listen to instructions given by the area manager or team leader. Stay in safe areas until directed by the emergency coordinator or law enforcement to evacuate the premises. If the area is safe, proceed to the nearest exit door and evacuate the building. When outside, hide behind objects until the threat is over. When lockdown is lifted, Proceed to the evacuation assembly point to be accounted for by your area manager or team leader. Most power losses are short-term. Therefore, employees are safer if they remain in place. If the outage exceeds five minutes, all employees will be moved to shelter-in-place locations. If the outage is expected to exceed 90 minutes, then the employees will be evacuated. If you experience a power loss at your workstation, remain calm. Switch all machines and power tools to their off position so they do not turn on when power is restored. Stand away from machines and tools as they may become re-energized. Some equipment may still have energy sources such as gravity or hydraulics, such as molding machines. This equipment should be identified following lockout procedures. Computer equipment should be turned off to reduce the risk of power surges when the electric service is restored. Monitor equipment and building systems after restart. Security personnel must secure the property as necessary since security systems could be inactive. Security personnel may also assist utility crews in gaining access to the affected areas. Management and workers should monitor all equipment and building systems after restart to ensure safety. Fires can start in many different ways. It is up to everyone to take the necessary precautions in order to prevent a fire hazard. Keep your work area clean and organized at all times. Do not overstock your area with product 
as it will impede potential evacuation. Always use your personal protection equipment when handling hazardous or flammable materials. Use appropriate portable storage containers when working with inks and flammable liquids. At the end of the day, put all flammable materials back into flammable storage cabinets and keep the cabinet door closed at all times. Keep walkways clear. Never store or place any materials in front of any exit door. Do not overload electrical outlets as they may become a source of an electrical fire. Use only approved extension cords with a grounding pin and do not overload them. When hot work is to be performed, always use the hot work permit system and follow all standards of the hot work program. Hazardous chemical spills occurring inside the facility are considered an emergency code 7025 and can include chemicals spilled in the lab, dry fire extinguisher system release containing hazardous chemical, interruption of production or services, release of chemicals into the air, water, or land, offensive odors from material releases. If a hazardous chemical emergency has been declared, you may hear this message. A chemical emergency has been declared. Chemical response team report to your staging area. All other employees, please remain in your work area and wait for further instructions. If a chemical spill occurs inside, follow evacuation procedures. Evacuate everyone from the affected area. Contact security as soon as possible at 4001. Avoid direct or indirect contact with released materials. Go to a safer location inside the building or evacuate the facility as the situation requires. If hazardous chemicals are spilled outside the facility, follow shelter-in-place guidelines. Contact security as soon as possible at extension 4001. Close all exterior windows and doors, including dock loading doors. Shut off all HVAC systems and any other air handling systems. Shelter in place until the emergency is over. If you are outside, move upwind away from the release area and return to the building as soon as possible. In summary, here are a few key points to remember. When the alarm sounds, listen to the message and proceed as instructed. Do not run or attempt to retrieve personal items. Do not use elevators during an emergency. When evacuating the premises, stay calm and do not panic. Walk to your assembly point and stay there until your manager or team leader gives the all clear. When requested to shelter in place, move to your designated area and stay there till the emergency is over. Sunstar Management is concerned with all aspects of your safety and well-being during any emergency or life-threatening situation. By learning these safety and emergency action procedures, you will be able to react appropriately at a moment's notice. For this safety program to be effective, everyone needs to be well informed and work as a team. Then together, we can make this important workplace safety program a success. Thank you.